uh, we have, on behalf of the EU, expressed strong concerns about the various human rights issues in the Philippines on numerous occasions, both in bilateral meetings, uh, at political level with government, as well as in different statements. The issues that have been raised are the issues you've raised here, the high number of killings associated with the campaign against illegal drugs, the climate of impunity, the declared withdrawal from the International Criminal Court, the possible reintroduction of the death penalty, as well as a possible lowering of the age for criminal responsibility to nine years. Further, uh, the issue of uh, the, the general situation of human rights defenders have been raised, the address of Sen uh, arrest of Senator de Lima, and challenges to the freedom of expression and opinion, as well as to the independence of institutions, including the impeachment procedures initiated against the Chief Justice. This has been raised in different declarations, uh, statements by the EU28 uh, Human Rights Council, the um, High Representative Spokesperson, and we addressed it um, in, a, in a very comprehensive way in the JSP Plus monitoring report that I discussed here with you earlier this year. I have also personally on numerous occasions met with Filipino representatives of government where I have raised the concerns. We are closely monitoring development, uh, especially now regarding the petition of the 21st of February by the Department of Justice, uh, which includes a list of more than 600 individuals alleging that they are members of the Communist Party and the New People's Army. The list includes inter alia the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Right of Indigenous People. We note that UN Special Rapporteurs are protected by specific diplomatic protocols during their United Nations mandated work. Regarding all the individuals on the list, the EU expects the government of the Philippines to fulfill in all its proceeding on the matter its obligation under national and international law, in particular the respect of rule of law and human rights, and to ensure their physical safety. That includes the right to due process, the independence of the judiciary, and a fair trial for every individual. We are disturbed by the denial of entry into the Philippines and the subsequent forced deportation from the country of the PES Deputy Secretary General Giacomo Filibeck. He was blacklisted for participating in supposed illegal political activities. Whereas, as you know, and you also refer to, he was officially invited to attend the Congress of Akbayan, an opposition party which is represented both in the Senate and in the House. We have immediately raised the matter with the government, as this is the first case of a foreign national and an EU citizen expelled from the country for political reasons during the current administration. Human rights violations, including extrajudicial killings and widespread impunity, have been a long standing problem in the Philippines as highlighted in the JSP Plus report. We remain convinced that both the Philippines and the EU have most to gain from constructive engagement. The partnership and cooperation agreement between the EU and the Philippines entered into force uh, the 1st of March this year. And this agreement foresees the establishment of a structural human rights dialogue between the parties, which will be an important forum for addressing all human rights issues. Uh, the issue of the JSP Plus uh, commitment uh, was raised by several of you. As you uh, remember, we discussed this in this plenary in January, where we highlighted that indeed there are several areas of progress by the Filipino uh, government uh, when it comes to the work on gender equality, health, education, social economic rights, labor rights, fight against corruption, protection of the environment. However, and that was also very clear in the report, extrajudicial killings especially in the fight against uh, drugs, related impunity and the possible reintroduction of death penalty was mentioned. We also addressed recommendations to the Filipino government and I have also personally conveyed them to the minister that they need to do more to address the issues we have here uh, discussed. We are monitoring the situation closely and this year's JSP Plus monitoring mission will of course focus on the issues related to the war on drugs and EU will assess uh, recent development before deciding on the next steps. Uh, so you can count on the European Commission and on the External Action Service to continue raising these matters with the Philippine government in a clear and constructive way. Thank you very much, Mr. President.